everybody it's Belinda from Belinda's Book Nook we are in my car I am doing um, my Friday reads in the car because well today got crazy and this is probably the only time I'm gonna get today to record an update where I am with my reading it'll be faster because when I do it in the car I can see the time so I won't chat as long I've really been making long videos apologize for that I know it's hard sometimes to sit that long through a video. So I am going to work on making myself either talk faster, break it up, or just, you know, just stop the chatter. I tend to do that, especially on Fridays. Anyway, the other thing is I don't have all my books with me. I brought what I had that I was just gonna peek at and read while I'm waiting, but now I'm not going to do that because um, naturally, obviously, I am not going to be um, reading because I'm talking to you. So I want to update you on what I've been reading and where I am so far. I have, um, I do have this one, which is, this one is the one that I'm reading with Dee Dee for the UK um, Black History Month and that's Second Class Citizen. I'm really enjoying this book. Um, it's really drawn me in from the very beginning. Very easy to follow the story and to get engaged with what's happening in the story. Um, <clears throat> I, um, I think I have a 50 pages left. Hey, wait, wait, everybody look at that. <laughs> I am going to pat myself in the back because I always like, you know, worry because I love ZDR's has great discussions. Um, and when she has a, a, a read along and it's like, I don't want to be the one person that hasn't finished and they're talking about things that I haven't gotten to or that I can't contribute. So I'm almost done with it, so I'm excited that I'll be done, um, you know, before um, or in time for the discussion. It is very good. Um, makes me think about a lot of things. I have been reading it on the Kindle, so I have been putting um, little highlights and using the notes feature as well to write a couple little notes in the book itself and the ebook which sometimes I will use the highlighting on it. Um, I usually don't always use the notes. I usually use my journal, my book journal, or a piece of paper to write things down just roughly before I, you know, I may commit certain ones to my book journal because there's obviously limited space. But I am finding it kind of interesting to do this and I'm gonna go back at the end and look at the notes that I had. And it's, they're not a lot, but I, I did on a couple of them like make inquiry or sarcastic comment regarding something that I read. So that I am doing really well in. The book that I don't have, um, that I do have, I think about is uh, Breathe. And that one is, um, I think that I am, I'm definitely more than halfway through um, with that. So there is a very good chance that I'll be able to finish that one as well this month, which is good. Oh my God, three minutes have gone by? Look how fast. No wonder I talked to you guys for so long. Okay. 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 So the other one is <clears throat> the book my sister um, kind of told me about, and I just ran out and got it as well. So we're reading together. I started it. I read the first chapter, and now I'm on chapter two, and that is this one. This is the one I was planning on reading today, but then I was like, let me do the video with you guys because I won't get a chance probably later. Um, this one is one of One Blood or the Hidden Self by Pauline, Pauline Hopkins. Um, I, the first chapter was, because I know what the book is about, and because I know that this is written in a different time period, I am giving myself um, grace in terms of attaching to the story um, and the amount of time it may take. The first chapter was, it felt a little um, choppy for me, not the writing itself, but just my, you know, understanding of what's going on and stuff in terms of um, the way that she's saying things. The second chapter I know is going to get um, better and the book will pull me in more um, because we are going to move to the part where um, the main character um, attends this concert that he meets the woman that they talked about in the description. So I think from that point forward, it'll get to be more um, engaging um, so I only, I only have one chapter I read last week and this, so I need to hunker down and get on this with my sister. Cause I don't know how far she is, but I don't like to be behind. So no, that's not good. Um, and then what else? I had another book. I did and I can't think of it. Anyway, 
What are we at? Four, almost five minutes. Okay, so that's it. Okay, that's what I'm gonna say that in terms of my reading. Um, I'm snacking. What am I snacking on? I made this really yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, it looks so, it's, it's so good. It's a, um, it's, you can't see it good in, in the light. It's, um, I've been, oh, I'm making crumbs in my car. Banana bread. But it's really healthy because it uses oat, um, you know, whole oats in it. So, very yummy. Um, and so as my snack today with my trusty water, um, oh, and I got my nails done today and I know that the, the lighting in here won't let you see it good, but I don't know if you can see, see, let me see, let's see. Yeah, can you see it now? Isn't that cool? Um, and then I did the thumb. I went online and I saw like this, some, this lady that is a nail like designer and, and I liked what they, she had. So I wanted to imitate it. So I brought it to the lady and I was like, can you do this? And she was like, yeah, sure. Um, and so she took a picture of the pictures I had and that's, she sat there and did it. And I just, it's so fun. It was so relaxing. So that's what I did this morning early um, before I had to get started on some of my work stuff. But um, so yeah, I will show you guys it more when I, um, when, um, you know, when we're in my home, I get the color of it comes out good. So. Hopefully I can, you know, match with it. Cause sometimes I pick colors and I'm like, what the heck was I thinking? Like, I have to wear clothes, remember? So what, a, you know, I'm going to tell people that I don't want them to look, you know, I'm not matchy matchy, like the same colors, but not contrasting colors. Like I like the colors to coordinate. So I felt that these are somewhat neutrally colors that I chose here. So something fun, something fun to look at when I am reading or just sitting around or playing with Ella. So, and update on Ella, um, her first training session is next Thursday. So cross her fingers that I learned something so that I can get this dog to stop so much of the jumping. That's my biggest thing with her is when I have company, she jumps on people and she does her puppy bites. I call them puppy bites because she's not biting to hurt you. It's just, you know, it's all like, she more like grasps on with her teeth. So it's, it's, oh yeah, it's interesting. I'm going to say that much. Um, and so hopefully we can get that down and improve my walking with her because she loves to, again, bark at other dogs and, um, she wants to, I don't know, I guess she's trying to play with them, but I'm like, no, cause I don't want you to bite anybody right now. So we're working on that. Um, this weekend, no big plans. Well, my father-in-law's birthday, so we're going to have a birthday celebration um, and then I think I'm going to try to get caught up on my reading. I definitely got to get caught up on this one here and I'm going to finish, I'm, I'm going to try to finish this, this one for DD and I'll be like early, like the first time ever I'm early in a book that I read with her, um, for Brown Girl Reading. Um, I love, I lo I really like the book. It's very interesting. It's a, it's a, it's a learning thing for me too, learning a lot about, um, even though it's fiction, it, it gives you a glimpse of what life could be like or was like. And also some historical things with regards to, I'm sorry, I didn't finish my thought. Life was like for um, African and black, my, you know, um, immigrants to the UK. Um, and then there's also some interesting information in there about um, the migration of Nigerian men. Um, and I think it was in the 40s. I think so. Um, so it was really interesting just to read that. And I want to go and find out if, if that is, you know, an accurate, um, if that actually occurred, um, you know, and so it's, it's, I love books like that. I love fiction that has, like I said, I almost got historical fiction that there are pieces in there that are like teasers to, for me to learn something else. So there is that. I have worked in this much in my book journal gonna hunker down because we're down to the wire now so um i'll try to get some of that in this weekend as well and then that is it oh my god under 10 minutes i'm so happy okay tell me what you guys are reading i hope you guys have a wonderful weekend um um mm, what else are you going to tell me tell me what you're reading um tell me if you I, I didn't know if anybody had read any other of her, of her books or had read this one if you have read that um and then I will talk to you guys next week. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and read lots of books. Bye. Oh, no, I should say bye. <laughs>